So you're thinking about making a move right here to Prosper, Texas. Well, we are out here once again in everybody's favorite neighborhood in North Dallas, Winsong Ranch. <laughs> Everybody knows that Winsong Ranch has every amenity, tons of parks, more parks than I could even count, walking trails, you name it. They're actually building a brand new amenity center right now as we speak. They just released news that they're getting a new uh, bar and grill pub as well in this neighborhood, but everybody knows it for its five acre crystal clear lagoon. Well, we're gonna be checking out one of the most popular and best builders out here in Winsong Ranch here today, and that is gonna be a Southgate home. Now they have a few specs left, but they are opening up, opening up a brand new phase as we speak, phase eight, and those homes are gonna start in the seven, high sevens to the high 800,000s. Now these homes are gonna range from about 3,000 square feet to about 4,000 square feet. So lots to choose from. They're an incredible builder. They have their own unique style, as you can see behind me. It stands out. Every time you drive by a Southgate home, you're gonna know it. But this one right behind me is the Addison 2 floor plan. This particular floor plan is 3,800 square feet and a five bed, five and a half bath home. And it is completely tricked out with an incredible backyard as well. So I know you're gonna enjoy this tour, so let's go check it out. Welcome to this beautiful Southgate home, the Addison 2 floor plan. You've just entered the house and you're gonna see this long entryway as well as these extremely tall ceilings and modern staircase as soon as you walk in. So you're also gonna notice tons of natural light because we've got windows coming through the doorway, up top, every different direction there are windows in this place. But right off to the right of the house, there's gonna be a nice cloak closet with an ensuite. So instead of your typical office space right in here, you're gonna have an ensuite with its own bathroom, walk in shower, and walk in closet. So this is a great spot if you've got in laws staying with you or friends staying in town so they don't have to use the bathroom across the hall. But a really nice walk in shower and walk in closet with really huge oversized windows. I know we say that a lot, but they are actually really large in here. But Really nice uh, upgrades up here. We've got um, shiplap, shiplap, that's shiplap in this house. Of course, this is a model home, so it's gonna be a little fancier than if you were to purchase a home. So these are all things that you can do later on. So as we continue through the entryway, you're going to have an office to the left and a media room to the right. So we'll start in this office. Of course, you're gonna have your nice glass doors. These are all eight foot doors, which you're gonna see in all the higher end homes with these big modern windows once again, but a nice office space. And then if you're feeling like not working anymore and you just wanna chill, watch a game, watch a movie, you can come take a nap in your media room. So there's no windows in here, of course. You've got surround sound throughout. You could put a projector here. It's pretty big to do so. Uh, but this is your media room space right across from your office. So one of the things I like about this home is it's got a huge entryway. So you're not really in the main living space until you cross quite a few areas. So uh, you got your half bath for people that are visiting, um, hanging out in the living room so they don't have to go through a bedroom or anything like that. And your laundry space. And then we finally made it into the main attraction of this beautiful home. And that is of course the kitchen and living space. So this is all gonna be in one. We've got a massive kitchen space, oversized pantry. Uh, this Vena hood is incredible. So really nice, modern, oversized Vena hood with high-end appliances. Nothing in this home is cheap, as you can tell. You've got a waterfall 
uh, island right here to add just a little touch, but uh, modern cabinets go all the way up to the ceiling, tons of counter space. And another thing I like about this particular floor plan is that they've got the dining space pushed off to the side, so it's all in one area but you're gonna have a little bit of separation with these beautiful glass doors and literally glass all the way around this place with a nice sitting area. So you can fit a really nice large table, good separation and a great entertainment space that you can literally walk out to your back patio. From the kitchen area, you're going to have a beautiful living space. So uh, it's not a massive living space, but we've got really nice vaulted ceilings with huge beams throughout and windows. The entire wall, once again, is glass with uh, massive windows above that. So tons of natural light. You would not need any lights in this house during the day. It is, there's literally windows everywhere. But beautiful fireplace feature. Uh, once again, this all pulls in. You've got a area up top that you can look down in here as well. So if you need to get a hold of your kids or whatnot, you can just talk to them right there. But absolutely beautiful layout in this house and an entertainer's dream. <music> entering the master bedroom in the back corner of the house. As you know, here in Texas, all the master bedrooms are usually gonna be on the downstairs and towards the back of the home. But this is a beautiful master retreat. You've got vaulted ceilings with exposed beams, beautiful lighting, can lighting and surround sound. This place has everything and a beautiful window space right here that goes floor, basically floor to ceiling. So tons of natural light. Beautiful king size bed with plenty of room for the nightstands, but a beautiful oasis right off of the living room area. But one of my favorite parts about this particular home is definitely going to be the master bathroom. This place feels like a five star hotel oasis and has it all. So you've got your nice soaker tub right here and a shower that's absolutely insane. We've got two shower heads, which is a must. I hate when I see these big showers and they only have one shower head, but you've got two separate sides. So I know if you're thinking, me and my wife are, I like the shower hot and she thinks everything is hot. So that's a nice added touch, but you've got this nice floating shelf or cabinetry right here, vanity space that has this nice separation um, right in the middle. So maybe you guys aren't getting along in the morning, you know, you can kind of hide behind the shelf or whatever you got to do, but beautiful master retreat. And then you're going to enter the master closet, which is another nice size with a window space to bring in additional light. And one of the favorite features for many people out there is that you don't have to go all the way across the house to get to your laundry space. You've got a nice sink area laundry room and it's all connected throughout. So if you're out here in the hallway in the main living area, you can get in here as well as from the master closet.
heading up to the upstairs space. Once again, you'll notice these beautiful modern stairwell right here. It is absolutely gorgeous. Got a little modern farmhouse look to it, but we're in the main loft area of the upstairs, which is quite large. You've got elevated ceilings. Once again, you can look over into the rest of the living space and all this beautiful stuff that we saw earlier but you're gonna have this room to basically do whatever you want with. Uh, we've already, already showed you a media room, office, but this is gonna be like basically a game room, TV room, um, and an office space for your kids. They've got a nice little sitting area that's overlooking tons of windows, uh, brings in tons of natural light once again. But the upstairs is gonna have three bedrooms and three additional bathrooms. So they're all gonna have their own bathroom space and only one of them is in the hallway. So. You don't have to worry about which kid's gonna have the best room because they're all pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and show you the first room, one of two on this side of the home. But you're gonna have a nice walk-in closet space, your own additional full bathroom space. And this one is gonna have the least amount of light in it, but they're all great size bedrooms and you're not gonna have a bunch of issues with your kids fighting because once again, I told you, they have a walk-in closet and they have their own bathroom space. So let's go ahead and go to my favorite bedroom of the upstairs space, which this is the only one that doesn't have a bathroom inside of the bedroom. But once you walk in, you'll understand what I mean by my favorite. It's got a nice shiplap wall, its own walk-in closet, and these massive windows at the front of the house right here that bring in an insane amount of natural light. I'm about 6'4", and these windows are huge. So a really cool space, um, no complaints. going to go to the last bedroom of the upstairs space. One thing I didn't point out is they, they carried these wide plank, white oak hardwood floors all the way throughout the upstairs space, except for the bedrooms, which is a nice feature of this higher end home. But this is going to be the last bedroom up here. Once again, it's going to have its own walk-in closet um, and really nice large bathroom with really cool double doors entering into your bathroom space. Now we've entered the backyard oasis and you have these beautiful glass sliding doors. There's usually one, but this one has two. So as you can imagine, tons of natural light. We've got elevated ceilings in here, nice covered patio section. You could put a TV out here, plenty of space to put a table, barbecue, whatever you would like. So these lot sizes I did, forgot to mention are 61 foot wide but they actually have lots that go up to 93 foot wide. So many of them, or most of them are gonna be 61 foot, but you're gonna go up all the way to 93 for those additional lots in the next phase. Like I said, we have a couple spec homes left as well, but you've got a beautiful fireplace back here. They've tricked this out, of course, because it is the model home. And my favorite part about the backyard, of course, is this gorgeous putting green. Usually they're really small, but this is not an added feature that you could do with Southgate Homes, but I've got contractors that can get it done for you. But a beautiful putting green, I'd about be out here all day. And luckily I forgot my putter today because the last video, as you saw, I missed that putt like three times in a row. As soon as you turn off the camera, I got it done. But that's just the way it goes when the camera comes on. I'm just not ready for the PGA. But 
I hope you enjoyed today's tour of the video here at Southgate. This is Winsong Ranch, one of the most incredible neighborhoods that anybody has ever seen and one of my favorites through many years to come. Lots of availability out here right now, but if you're looking in the DFW area in this location or anywhere in the DFW Metroplex, make sure to give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email and I'd love to help you and your family make a smooth move to Dallas. Hope to see you around town.